Hey Storm Shielders, I'm meteorologist Jason Myers. You may notice I have stuff here. Well, we're talking about something very important today. When severe weather hits, it can put your power out for an extended period of time and you need to be ready for it. If you don't have power for three days, you have to be able to take care of yourself and your family. So what we have here is an emergency preparedness kit. First, we're going to start with the bag. You should have a bag or some kind of container that you keep this in and put it in a safe spot where you can access it after the severe weather has gone through. Usually a basement is a good spot because that's typically where you're going to be during a severe weather event, whether it's a tornado, a hurricane, or uh, any other type of event that could put you and your family out of commission, at least your home out of commission, for a number of days. So what is all this stuff? Well, let's just start throwing things in the bag and filling it up. First, you need food. These are MREs or meals ready to eat. Just add water. You should have three days supply worth of food. They may not taste the greatest, but they're going to keep you and your family fed. Remember, three days supply. We also have in here some, uh, looks like some dehydrated milk. Again, maybe not the most flavorful, most tasty things, but you know, when survival's at stake, you do what you gotta do. And because you have that dehydrated food, you need water. These are in pouches right here. You should have about a gallon per person per day. So for one person, you need three gallons because you're prepping for three days. We put the water in the bag. All right, what else do we need? Poncho, good thing to have because typically with severe weather, you're gonna have rain, whether it's a hurricane or a tornado. A dry person is a happy person. When you're wet, it just makes things all that much worse. And if it's a little cold, when it's wet outside, cold, that makes, being wet makes you even colder. Some tissues, that goes along with uh, your first aid kit. Always good to have just in case somebody does happen to get hurt during these severe weather events. Have your matches because you're going to have an emergency stove. You may not have power, you may not have electricity or gas, but if you have your emergency stove and some matches, you can at least have a hot meal rather than eating something cold every single day. A mask. This is just in case uh, the air quality isn't that hot. Say a wildfire is nearby or a, a tornado or a hurricane takes out a, a big industrial building and now you have a bunch of uh, dust or debris in the air. This can make breathing a little bit easier and a little bit healthier. Good to have a compass. There's a compass and whistle on this. You want an emergency whistle just in case you happen to be trapped. You can let people know uh, where you are by blowing that whistle. Here we have some hand wipes. Sanitation is good. Water uh, purification tablets. Keep these nearby just in case you happen to run out of your water, your fresh, clean water. You may need to purify some water that's nearby. You don't want to be drinking nasty water because then you get sick and yeah, it's just bad. As far as cooking goes, also good to have a little uh, stainless steel pot. Flashlight, keep this handy. It does still get dark and without electricity, you're going to want a flashlight so you can see. An emergency blanket, these actually keep you very, very warm. When it's cold outside or when it gets cold at night, this can help keep you warm. That way you don't have to worry about hypothermia. On top of Storm Shield, you should have Storm Shield on your phone. You should know what weather is coming your way and when those emergencies are coming. Check out one of these uh, digital weather alert radios. They also have a hand crank on them just in case your battery dies on your cell phone. That way you can crank this and it will stay working. You, uh, this powers it just by cranking the side there. Keep that with you at all times. Maybe keep this outside of the bag and just keep that uh, close by. If you have this working uh, before the storm, maybe you can use this after your power's out. So uh, just keep it close by. And if the sun ever gets shining, a solar powered cell phone charger. A lot of times this is everyone's connection to the world. Well, this can help you stay connected. It may not be able to charge a lot, but it can at least charge your cell phone. And last but not least, have some playing cards. Because if you're going to be stuck without power and you got to pass some time, uh, you might as well be doing something because it's better than sitting there and worrying and fretting. So there you have it. That is our storm preparedness kit. I know it seems like a lot, but it shouldn't take you that long to put something like this together. It would only take uh, 10, 15 minutes to put everything in a bag or in a box. Uh, just make sure it's a waterproof box and put that in the area where you plan on going when severe weather strikes. I hope this was helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I will see you next time.